Your brain is constantly rewiring itself. Whenever we think a thought, one synapse shoots a chemical across a cleft to another synapse, creating bridges that our thoughts use to travel throughout our brain. And our brain, over time, recognizes these patterns and rearranges itself to make this process more efficient. The phrase that helped me remember this concept as a psychology student was catchy enough to stick. Synapses that fire together, wire together. Think about your GPS. Whenever you try to get from point A to point B, it defaults to the shortest possible path. Our brain does that too. The more often we think a thought, the closer these synapses grow, the more likely we are to think it again, and so on. This means that our thoughts literally change the physical shape of our brain. And as these patterns gain momentum, they form the foundation of our personality, whether we want them to or not. But if we can interrupt these negative patterns, we have a chance to rob them of that momentum. We can pry those synapses apart and encourage others to grow closer together in their place. Whew. Let's do it. Here's the kicker, though. It's not just our own thoughts and emotions that influence this process. I mean, outside stimulus has this effect on us all the time. Have you ever been watching a scary movie and you pause it to take a bathroom break only to be deathly afraid of what might be hiding behind the shower curtain? <laughs> on a logical level, you know there's nothing there, but on an emotional level, you'd rather be safe than sorry. So when we see, read, or hear about an emotion, our brain kind of tries it on like a fur coat in a dressing room, and boom, without realizing it, did I scare you? <laughs> We're feeling someone else's feelings. I mean, we know this. Emotions are contagious, right? This is where things like empathy and mob mentality come from. 